Hey everyone, Robbie here at RV Sales of Oregon. Today we're taking a look at this Jayco Jayhawk, um, uh, pardon me, Jayco Redhawk, excuse me. It is the 26XD model, it's a 2016, super clean unit, um, really nicely laid out. So it's, real quick, we'll go over it. It's on the 450 chassis, so you have bigger brakes, bigger differential, you're able to tow a little bit more. I think you're set up for 8,000 pounds behind this thing. And then we do have the, the V10, the longest production motor, the oldest production motor I know of. It's been going on for 25 years, or tried and true. No well great power 365 horsepower something along those lines um, and fairly fuel efficient relative to your other options um, coming along the driver's side we just have our big fiberglass cap up front those things do not delam they cannot because they're fiberglass very nicely done um, and then we have our one big slide here uh, very wide slide for how big this unit is and fairly deep about two and a half feet deep uh, we have our generator exhaust right down here. Oh, and it's locked. Anyway, it's it's an Onan generator. I believe it's a 4,000 watt gas generator running off your regular fuel. And these are all locked. That's my fault. So let me know if you want to see those. I'll send you some pictures. Um, pretty common, just your fuel tank there. You have black tank flush for cleaning everything out and um, city water connections there. Um, outside shower here and then really nice easy access to your black and gray water valves down below um, on the rear side we do have the rock guard here so if you're towing something you're not going to have rock trips flying up at you really nice feature there um, and there's a backup camera built into the brake light up there um, on the passenger side you see we have our bed slide here and I think this is locked again I'm so sorry guys let me know if you want to see it and I'll send you pictures but that's our big bay of storage there um, see, everything's gonna be locked. Good mistake. Um, gas electric water heater done by Atwood there. It's a six gallon gas electric heater, water heater, and then you have your propane furnace here. Um, storm style windows all the way around this thing. These are great when it's raining, you can leave them open, they won't get wet in there. Very quiet going down the road, and you can see there's no bevel on it, there's nowhere for anything to have seals really fail on you. Um, just they're, they're great, that's why everybody's using them now. Storm style windows. Up here we have the hood fan for the stove and you'll notice our nice big power awning there um, probably about 12 feet in length comes out about 9 or 10 feet gives you a really nice patio space out here and no slide underneath it to obstruct your space out here so really nicely done uh, it's a Colorado carefree awning and then we have the the wind safe door it won't just slam open on you and the power dual step there Come on in. Um, a great rig for a larger family or just even just a one person, two people, doesn't really matter. You can entertain in here, but you get a really nice open space with this big open slide, all the windows on it, letting in natural light. We have a couple of seats with seat belts here. This turns into a bed. Up front, you have a very large bed, the, one of the largest I've seen, um, even for a Class C. But it's massive. I mean, that's. Yeah, again, that's almost eight feet long. Um, and then it's it's more than a queen in width, so it's probably like a, a standard king or even bigger. But, but really nicely done. You have the TV on a swivel up there. You have this nice big sound bar here just for entertainment, for fun, listening to music. Controls for our awnings are right there. And easy controls right inside the door there to get to for your generator, holding tanks, um, slide outs, everything you need when you first get to camp to set up. Um, in our cockpit, let me get this out of the way. In the cockpit here, the seats are in great shape. They put a cover on them not to hide anything, but to just keep them that way. Um, I'm not gonna take them off in the video, but if you need to see the condition of these seats, I'll take some pictures. I'll pull these covers off and show them to you. Um, pretty standard setup here in your cockpit. You have powered windows, everything you need like that. that we're nice and used to, easy controls for climate. Um, and then this is an upgrade of the head unit. So you do have um, Bluetooth input, Sirius satellite radio. Um, I think just a higher wattage output. It's an Alpine, they make good sound. So it's gonna sound a little bit better. Um, a USB, you know, auxiliary input, all, all the things that you should be used to now in um, kind of updated vehicles like this. We do have a standalone backup camera up here, it has the microphone built in for when you have this hooked up to your phone. But this is nice because you can always keep this running um, and it doesn't obstruct with your, your stereo or anything like that. So you can always use it as a rear view mirror. You know, it's, it's, that's basically what it is. We do have cruise control on this rig. Um, let me see if I can, I don't know the miles off the top of my head, but I'm sure it'll be in the listing when you're looking at this, so. 
Um, double din sink here, porcelain double din sink. Good storage all the way around. Good deep tall storage there. Built-ins down below. Um, ducted furnace, which is nice to have here. That's what these are, and they're not receivers in the ground, so you're not gonna have dirt falling into them. So I really like those that are put low um, down near the ground, but not in the ground where dirt's gonna fall in. We have a Norcold fridge here. It's a two-way fridge, propane and electric, five cubic foot. Um, convection microwave up top, conventional microwave down below, and a three burner propane uh, range up top. We have our dinette here, easily seats four, and converts down into a bed that could easily sleep two. So, a nice setup there. We have this, which can double as a pantry, really whatever you want to use it as, because we have this, and then we also have this big closet here, but I see this is more of a pantry, and this is maybe more of a closet, um, especially because it has a closet rail in there, but use it whatever whatever works for you we have the four built-ins down below um, corner bathroom in this rig a good size one you know they're a little bit narrow i guess but you end up getting a lot of room in these things without taking a lot of room away from the coach porcelain body we got our vanity here and a nice little medicine cabinet that was added in i believe that was done after the fact but very nicely done um, i'm about six two i fit in this shower just fine get my arms up you know stand up tall do all my stuff adjustable shower head so it makes it nice and easy to keep clean uh, but you know pl plenty of room you don't feel crammed in there whatsoever um, and then you do have the fan up top to keep the airflow now this is a walk around bed um, a little bit tight you know over here but it definitely makes it easier getting in and out of bed so still very grateful for the ability to be able to walk around this is a full-size bed um, it's a true full so I mean it's not as big as a queen of course it's a full but um, nicely done there and you do have windows on either side here so it's really nice to get good ventilation um, fresh air while you sleep in and you do have outlets on that side and on this side so if you're running anything like a CPAP machine um, you can get to your outlets and um, you know the, you have the lights there so it's just kind of nice and easy you don't need to get up out of bed just to to see what you're doing um, let's see if there's anything I'm forgetting there always is but for the sake of being concise, I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, again, it's a Jayco Red Hawk. It is the 26XD um, is the model. I think pretty low miles on it, but again, I apologize. I don't know that off the top of my head. I'm just going off memory. Um, you know, guys, if, if you're looking for something like this, something that can sleep two, four, six, eight, maybe even nine people in it. Um, I mean, you, there's, you can get a 40 foot rig that doesn't sleep that many people. Um, so a nice setup there for a bigger family or just like having that space options. Um, easily fit two adults up there, two adults in the bed and you can still fit four kids here. Um, might be a little muggy in here, but you got all these windows. So that's nice to have, keep the fresh air in. Um, oh, did not mention this. You have a 13,500 BTU AC unit, um, and that is all ducted throughout the ceiling. So in a rig this size, plenty to keep you cool. Um, I'll just leave it at that. Thank you guys for checking out this video. If I did leave anything out, please just reach out. I'm happy to get you any more info you'd like on it. Um, but we'll leave it at that for now. Um, let me know if you need pictures of the basement. But in the meantime, thank you all for checking out the video. I'm Robbie here at RV Sales of Oregon. Have a nice day.